wasn't going on. So colonizing this country wasn't enough. Now we're trying now they're trying to colonize different countries. You know what? We can take our American money and get a lot more. The reaction is just like, you know, is what you get. Like, you know, we be smart to kick people out of the country. Like, it, it, the I first thing I thought of was was they building a the wall for them? <laughs> or they built a the wall for us. <laughs> Kings and Queens, welcome back to the League of Kings podcast. I am one of your hosts, Willie. And of course, I am joined by DMV Zone, <laughs> the Chocolate City. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. The one and only, the bead man. He got all the beads. He got around his neck, got around his wrist. <laughs> they got him on his neck. My brother, J Dye. Man. How you doing? It's quite the, quite the intro. Quite the intro. I'm I'm good. Doing? I'm good, but I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. 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 How's your mental health? Man, mm-hmm. hanging in there. Hanging in there. Day by day. Good, good. Resident, big brother, Mr. I got the advice you need to make it through your daily needs. <laughs> I heard about a lot of shit, but I don't know about it, but I'm going to tell you about it. Resident, <laughs> resident, big brother. Uh, see, that's why we all brothers. We tease each other like that. No, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good to see everybody. How's your mental health, brother? Oh, my, my mental health is good, man. Thank God, thank God, thank God. See? But see, you remember that line. Not something I <laughs> I heard about, something I know about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll I be listening sometimes. Sometimes. Next up, last but not least, Botox by Joe, Mr. Social and culture himself. Don't you ask him to go after no damn Corona because he don't drink Corona. <laughs> he don't drink the fake air either. Hell, he don't even go out for tacos on Tuesday. So don't don't even do it. My Mexican brother. How's it going, Joe? Doing good, Will. How are you, man? I'm pretty good, man. It's um um I'm two gummies in the wind. Y'all know my y'all, y'all know y'all know my ritual. We uh, can tell. We can yeah, tell. Joe, Joe has always struck me as a Modelo type type of guy. Anyway, I wouldn't I wouldn't have put Corona on him at all. He's definitely a Modelo person. I'm be, I I say, like he he looked like a tequila, but he's like, nah, man, I want bourbon. Like, really, you drank bourbon? See, uh, Joe Joe got money, so Joe is doing top top to top top. Joe got money. Oh, he going top shelf. Is what you saying? Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe ain't. Joe's one of the. He ain't scared to spend money. That's a problem. That's a, <laughs> that's that's a, a compliment. A, thanks, big brother. Uh, yeah. I wish I had. I wish I had more money, but it doesn't work that way. Speaking of money, man, my TV just broke. No, my daughter was throwing baseballs at it. Had that TV for like fourteen years, man. It's a Samsung curved TV. Cost me yeah. a leg in 2014, man. It was just it just came out, and uh, its last leg was yesterday. So now me and my wife and they're all gonna go to the store, and we're all gonna try to find a TV tonight. Yeah, no, tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. So yeah, that sucks. And I, I was looking forward to spending money than that. Come on, I'll Joe, be the bad likes, guy. To Joe, story. you like spending money? You like it? You already got the TV picked out. You like? I'm just gonna act surprised when I walk in the store and say, "Like, oh, what about right. this one?" Right. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and be the bad guy and get in trouble first this episode because that, for some reason, Joe, I, I understand you lost your TV and I, I feel for you, but it, it, it's hilarious to me. I was laughing the entire time because all I could think about is that in every black household, as boys, we've been warned about what's gonna happen if you throwing shit in the house, and it never fucking happened. Not one of us has broken the TV <laughs> or thrown the stuff and knocked over a vase because we was told what was going to happen and we believed it. And all of a sudden in Joe's house, 
how the TV get broke. My daughter was throwing baseballs. As soon as you say my daughter was throwing baseballs in my house, I'm like, that's an impossibility. You can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Well, there, there's but, much but you, of the story. But 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 wait, you got to remember, this is the same girl Joe had to go to school for for choking kids out. Yeah, she ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So Joe 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 probably had to be careful talking to her about it. Yeah. Before she choked them out. <laughs> choked me out. <laughs> so see, my, my wife, I'm the disciplinary at home, and my wife is no discipline. Well, this happened on my wife's watch. And they tried to trick me. So I showed up one day. And I'm like, why does the TV look like it's it just looked weird. It looked like we were it was a UFO movie and there was little UFOs in the background. And I'm like, why does it look like that? I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, mm. something's wrong. Well, she was out there doing something, and the the little girl grabbed a baseball and said, I'm just going to start throwing it at the TV. And my wife's like, oh, shit, I'm going to cover it up. It's your dad <laughs> almost here. And then I'm and like, so, this TV. So she announced what she was going to do before she did it? Like, she, she said, this wasn't like an accident. Like, I was throwing the baseball someplace else, and it hit the TV. This was, I'm going to throw baseballs at the TV. That's kind of how it went, yeah. So they finally yeah. fessed up. See, I'd be more pissed that I'm living in a house full of liars. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> go back to the store. Everybody. Yeah. They were trying find to trick receipts, me. Joe, find your receipts and send everybody back. Yep. I mean, like, you guys are out of here. Yeah. So, yeah, or just unplug I'll, all the TVs in the house, but nobody watched TV today. Man. But really, are, are you hearing the impossibility of this scenario in a black yeah. household? You gonna yeah. tell you gonna tell your mama that you're gonna throw baseballs at the I'm just gonna throw baseballs at the TV. Yeah. And then not only would they not cover it up, but after your mama whooped your ass, then it was and wait till I tell your dad. Yep. Yeah. 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 You you get an ass whooping this off the a senior insinuation. That yep. you think you going to do something? You did ask for, for, for raise, raising your arm, arm like you about to throw the ball. Yeah. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I was, I but, was going to ask you how your mental health was, Joe, but <laughs> I, think, I think we, I think we know it's, it's broke. Yeah, yeah. Joe, I mean, Joe sitting up here solving crimes. Man, I was yeah. like, how am I going to watch sports? On you know, it's broken. I was like, shit. This man is crying in the inside. This I'm dying inside right now. Everybody give Joe a hug. Everybody at home. Uh, everybody just that just give Joe a hug because he the brother needs it. Yeah. But Joe, you, you, you can't you can't have a black car with this kind of stuff happening in your house. It's just it's <laughs> not allowed. The 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 only good positive is TVs are not as expensive as they were. That is true. Because you can get you a bigger TV for the price you pay for that curve now. That is true. So you might as well go and get you a 70, yes, 80 inch too. TV and just, just go all out. Go and get your surround sound. Yep. You know? And you look at your wife like, you did this. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be like, you going to go half with me or what? No, like, you I, no, just use her credit card. Yeah. I need your yeah. card. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, we're going halfsies on this. You are... let her break it. Oh, I'll have my headphones on. I didn't hear her say hey, anything. Joe, yeah. These okay. dudes are not your friends, Joe. Big brother talking about you as her credit card. These are not your friends, Joe. Don't listen to <laughs> yeah. Big brother ain't married, so he 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 don't understand those type of consequences. <laughs> That's a different level consequence right there, boy. Oh, shit. Let her, let, let her go to the grocery store and turns out ain't no money on their card. Mm, both mm -hmm. baskets and somebody got put all their food back, Joe. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but that's crazy. My brothers, we are here because there's some things going on down in Mexico. And Joe said, nah, we ain't having it. We gotta talk about this shit, y'all. So just to kind of fill y'all in. On what's going on, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a clip and then I'm gonna hand the mic off to Joe. 
Mexican president announces deportation plans for unauthorized American residents. In a startling announcement today, the president of Mexico revealed plans to deport American citizens residing in Mexico without proper documentation, commonly referred to as illegal immigrants. This decision comes amid growing frustration over Americans gentrifying cities across Mexico. Recent events have highlighted the issue, with Americans attempting to colonize beaches, public areas, Areas and even cultural staples like salsa dancing. While many Americans move to Mexico seeking a better quality of life due to affordability challenges in the United States, their presence has led to local price hikes as they pay in dollars while locals transact in pesos. Rather than contributing positively to the Mexican economy, these individuals are creating hardships for native residents. Compounding the situation, the number of Mexicans migrating to the United States has significantly decreased since 2000. 2019, while the reverse trend sees more Mexicans willingly returning to Mexico. Meanwhile, a growing number of Americans are seeking opportunities in Mexico, further exacerbating the issue. This reversal of migration patterns underscores the complexities of international movement and highlights the need for comprehensive solutions to address economic disparities and ensure equitable living conditions for all residents, both native V and foreign. You got it, Joe. All right. All right, my brother. So we got some colonizing going on. So colonizing this country wasn't enough. Now we're trying now they're trying to colonize different countries, right? Got Americans and Canadians going over to Mexico and colonizing. The problem with that is that there is backlash to all these situations, right? So now you have Americans going over there with American money, which is worth more money than the pesos, right? And they're selling their stuff here. They're moving over there, or they're working from here, from the United States, and moving to Mexico. They're not paying any taxes. They're buying a nice, beautiful home for about $50,000, $60,000 next to the beach, taking all their family over there. And the problem is, it's now it's causing issues for the Mexican people there, for the locals, meaning... Now everything's going up in price, right? Because there's a bunch of people running over there. The food's going up in price. The housing's going up in price. Everything around is getting more expensive. And what happens with that? Is as soon as that gets expensive, what happens to the locals? Now they can't afford it. So because in this country, everything went up, inflation, COVID and all this stuff, and now housing is expensive. Everything's expensive. I mean, you remember when the eggs were $12 for a carton of eggs? I mean, you know what I mean? So now it's like, screw this. We're going to Mexico. Now the tables have turned, right? So we're going to start off with that piece of the segment, uh, what Will just played us. And uh, I'm going to go around the table, and I want your opinions on it, because there's more to this. There's more... There's more uh, there's more audio to this, and we're just gonna go in sections. So, what are you what you just heard, Big Brother? What what do you make out of that? Just by listening to that, just one <clears throat> clip, what do you make out of that? I look at I kind of from what we hear from the clip and some other things I have saw and read. It's kind of like where, just like you said, you know, you've exhausted your situation now you want the influx to hurry up and go down there and like oh you know what we can take our american money and get a lot more and do what and live high on the hall down there so what i take from this is just as you said more colonizing and making it harder for the people down there because like like you said the American dollar is worth more than a peso. So with all that coming in and prices going up, it's kind of like you're kind of, not kind of, it's like you're pricing the, the people out of out of their own country where just because you can, let's just say someone has a remote job and they decide to go work from Mexico, but you're still making American type money. You decide to go build your life down there. They don't understand what it means for the people down there, but yet, here in this country, we're always talking about people are coming here and taking our jobs. But now 
everyone seemed to be running down there and taking their land. And I, it's kind of like, a, like you, you can't complain about where you are and people coming, but you want to go and set up new shop and say, you know what? I can no longer afford or we used up everything we got on our end. Let's go find a new place. You know? Hmm. Well said. Uh, yeah. I mean, and uh, people are going to struggle, man. People are going to struggle over there and where are they going to go? Right. They were coming over here for a better life. Right now they're like, screw that. We're just going to stay here because we can't afford to live anyways over there. So we're just going to stay here. Now everybody's going over there and now we're like, shit, now we can't afford to live where we're from. You yeah, know, is... and I, no, I was going to say, it's kind of like people from other countries going to Mexico. It's like you want to play, lay and stay, but you don't want to pay. You don't want to pay the taxes down there. You don't want to pay what people have to live down there. So it's just like, yeah, we just want to come get as much as we can for for basically for pennies. Right. J dot. Same question for you. What do you get out of this video? And then also I have a second question that's going to lead for you and will, um, is would you do that? So first answer me the, the first question of what, what your take on the video is, and then, uh, follow it up with, if you would, if you had the chance to go over there and live, because it's a lot cheaper to live in Mexico and have a and have a nice home for very little money, would you do it? So, um, I guess I, my initial reaction is just like you know, it's what you get. Like you know, we we spent the last couple of election cycles with immigration and stuff being the big deals. We've seen, you know, some of the laws that you know that they've been fighting back and forth with in Arizona and Texas and, you know, being able to ask for documentation and identification and stuff like that. And it's like the, the whole time, you know, we're running over there being undocumented and illegal immigrants in their country. It's like, all right, you know, and, and we characterize everybody that comes over from there as, you know, y'all sending us your criminals and rapists and, and, and there's caravans and all this danger from, you know, uh, what we've been talking about as far as people crossing on our side, we're going to make them pay for a wall and all this other crazy rhetoric. It's like, hey, we didn't get the fuck out of our country. Like, yeah, we, we, we deporting y'all too. We can do that too. Like, you know, um, <laughs> I said, I mean, that's, that's really what I, what I heard is, you know, it's, it's, it's deserved at this point. Um, and then like, you know, big, big brother was saying, you know, people don't typically realize like if you don't, if you're moving into a different environment to, you know, to save or because there's something in that environment that's beneficial to you and you don't learn how to live in harmony with that environment. You're just going to fuck it up to the point that it's worse than where you left. And now you have to go someplace else because people are not going down there and figuring out how to live, you know, how to, how to uh, assimilate the word that they use, you know, up here. And then they're not going to Mexico and assimilating and it's just going to ruin you know, whatever it is they were going down there to find. Uh, so you had to port them all, put them on catapults, just send them over the wall, whatever it is. I don't care. Uh, would I do it? Um, <laughs> it's so terrible. Hope they do find like a fun way to do it. Like make it a... Uh, it's make it not a, a fun movie. way, Jay. <laughs> Jay, like that was I mean, this. This is the most like hilariously ironic thing that could possibly happen. We've been years... In this country, we've been talking about, uh, uh, you know, illegal immigration from Mexico being like the number one scourge of the planet or something. And the whole time, we said, like, no, nah, yeah, they, they should find, they should have as much fun with this as you could possibly have. We're getting all you illegal motherfuckers out of our country and we're going to do it on pay-per-view. Like, that, that's, they should do it up. That's how I feel. But um, what I do, I would, you know, I, 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 my um the relationship i'm in now you know that was one of her plans was you know she wanted to get out of the u.s and one you know and mexico was definitely the spot to go but you know that's been part of the discussion like how do you do it the right way or how do you if you want to go over there and you want to take advantage because that's what we got to admit that that's what we're doing we're taking advantage you know of another another culture another country um like how do you do it in a way that doesn't disrupt, that doesn't, you know, 
that isn't harmful to the people that were already there. The reason, the people who created the environment that made you want to go be a part of it, how do you not, you know, how do you maintain some sort of homeostasis and assimilate, like you said, uh, you know, like they've been saying for years over here. So I don't know. I, if I if I did it, I would want to think I'd do it the right way and I don't just have that American arrogance where I need to bring my culture other places and then force it on the people around me. Like everybody should be more like me because I'm American. It's great. I don't know. It's the funniest shit ever. I really they, they really got to just get some comedians or something, you know, as they kicking them over the border. <laughs> all kind of stuff. Yeah. They need to, this is smarter, kick people out the country. Like, they, they need to do it up. <laughs> yeah, I agree, man. That's, uh, that was pretty funny. Um, Will, we've been going back and forth. We're sharing this stuff. I think last week jumped on a TikTok and, you know, I, I I, I'm not so good when going into social medias and I forget that TikTok exists. And then when I jump in TikTok, I'm like, oh shit, Will send me a bunch of stuff. And then I start going through stuff and I'm like, holy shit. And then I start sharing it to you about all this stuff that's going on. What's your take, Will? What's your take on all this? The first thing I thought of was, was they building a wall for them? Oh, they put the wall for us. <laughs> maybe, maybe they built the wall to contain us from coming into Mexico. <laughs> you know what I mean? That that was the first thing that popped in my mind. Um, yeah, I, you know, I I I tried I tried to dive into this as much as I could. Uh, it seems to be a lot of retired Americans that's really causing a lot of this ruckus up. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's, it's that, um, entitlement. That was the other thing that popped in my mind was entitlement. Like they're, they, they go into someone else's country and feel they're entitled to start making choices for the people who live there. You almost sounds like Africa. Almost sounds like South America. Yep. This shit's been going on for thousands of years, man. Thousands of years. This is one big cycle. Right. But I do like that the Mexican president is like, no, nah, we're not having this. Exactly. If you if you want to stay here, you going to pay. But they're not only paying. they paying American dollars. You're not paying the little pesos like everybody else, you gonna pay American dollars. What what is what is the ratio, Joe? I don't know. On uh money on pesos? Yes, sir. It's, it's like um for instance, one dollar could be um what is it? a uh, hundred pesos or or is it ten pesos? I'll look it up right now, but it, it fluctuates with uh, for the economy itself. But right. uh it's usually if it's a hundred dollars here, it's a thousand pesos over there kind of deal. I have to look it up real quick, but yeah. I, I, my opinion, and this could affect like the good tourists that, that come, actually comes for seven days and leave <laughs> and, and has a good time. But they should start charging them extra to come into the country. Yeah, 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 yeah. You You got your hotel, you got this, you got that. But you're gonna have to actually pay a fee when you cross this border. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, I'm telling, and I would, I would pay in pesos. <laughs> I promise you, I'd pay in pesos. But I would pay good money if they just like they got to televise this and like show video of them like ripping children away from parents. No, I just, I want yeah. them to do it up completely. And and I would, I would pay in pesos to see this every deport. I want to see every deportation hearing. I want to watch them be escorted <laughs> out of the country. I want, I want all of it. It's seen, I pay good money. I but wait, somewhere, I, got, I can't remember. Oh. Where, I can't remember where I seen it at. Where somebody was like, "I uh, I wonder if they putting them in cages like they did it, all the hmm. Mexican families that was here." I, I want to see. I want to see they, their customs running into places yeah, and, and, yeah. and just yoking up people. I want to see it all, man. Yeah, I pay how they, 
are they are they going through separating the family, the the parents and the kids, Ooh. or are are what if you have a child in Mexico? So the child's Mexican now, but you American, but you gotta leave if you don't have your proper um, papers. Ooh. So so how's that going to work? So it's it's going to be a whole, like Jay said, it's going to be a whole reverse. That's going that's going to end up happening. It, it's it, it's going to be interesting how this plays out. I I I bet that's going to be some type of deal that yeah. ends up happening. Yeah, yeah. Because when we started, until Jay Jot and you went well. You know, I'm thinking like, yeah, how are they going to deport these people? Like, are you just going to just drive them up to the border and say, get out? Or are you just going to hold them in a detention center and deport them out that type of way? And then, of course, in my mind, I'm thinking like, yeah, I've never really heard of Americans being deported out of countries. Like, Americans will just go to any country and just stay. Yeah. And that's one thing that even as we're having this discussion, which I'm glad we are, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Just like people shouldn't be coming and just staying here, you know, without being, you know, going through proper channels. How many Americans are just anywhere in the world just sitting there like, oh, I'm American. I can stay. I mean, we, you... we have to go through the same immigration laws in other countries. Like we have to get visas and stuff to workplaces and uh, and be outside the country for an extended period of time. But I'm sure there are some. I mean, clearly there's some illegal immigrants in Mexico. Yeah. But uh but you, 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 th this is what they're doing. A lot of them, some of them, have remote jobs. Yeah. So what they do is they come down to Mexico, but don't leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like 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 they come down for like a, a trip or whatever, and it's like you know what, I can make this work here. So they just. Uh, get their PC out and start working and just never leave. Hell, they might have their house as a, uh, what do they call those house where people rent them out? Airbnb. Yeah, they may turn their house to an Airbnb. Mm. And, and they, but, but they still got US dollars coming in, but they live in, you know, the high life in Mexico. Yeah. Wow. Man. Man, that was a good one, Will, with the, you know, that makes you wonder how if they're going to treat Americans like they treat Mexican people here or how they treat people from South America or wherever, you know, how they treat them here. And, and you're right, how they put them in cages and all that. You know, that's, you know, that's, uh, that's something to think about. And yeah, how, many I mean, of those how, how many of those people you think that are living there voted for that wall? Mm. Oh, Man. Dang, man. Do it do it like the Big Brother show. Put cameras in the detention center and then we could just hear all the cops. <laughs> do it up. And, Jay Dot, I'm loving everything you say. And, and feed them spam out the can. Ooh. Don't even fry it up. Just just feed them spam. Damn. And Popeye's I, and Popeye's I, I, biscuits. I for, they can start a whole channel for this. I'm paying extra in pesos. In pesos. <laughs> in pesos. <laughs> So I, I looked up, I was, I was pretty close, but obviously it's a little bit higher now. So $1 is 1669 pesos. So in a, in a hundred dollars is 1,662, 500 American dollars or U S dollars is 8,312 pesos. So you see the disparity there. It's, it's a lot of money. The dollar's worth a lot. All right. Yeah. But the locals got to pay the regular price, but the, Amer the Americans that come over, they're like, shit. Oh, two dollars? Oh shit, that's no problem. But for them over there, two dollars is a lot of money. Can I, oh yeah, can I ask it you, is. Can I ask you a quick question? And this is something they could they could do, like here, like I have to pay like county taxes, state taxes, city taxes, you know, so on, so on. I'm guessing they do this in every state. That's what they can do down there. Not only do you got to pay Mexican taxes, but you got to pay uh, a tax for being American for living in Mexico. Yeah. 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 And you know, it'll be something like a foreign tax, like, you know, yeah. mm. unless you get naturalized or whatever, you know, it'll be like a foreign tax you got to pay 
and yeah. it's in your oh. home country's um, you mm -hmm. know, currency. And then you know, like that, it, that will mess imagine, them up. <laughs> imagine like what they check stub will look like when they see all them damn deductions. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they gonna run to now? Yeah. Uh, for the way they have talked about Mexican immigrants in this country for the last exactly. couple of years. Exactly. Do it up. Do it up. Do it up. Yeah. Fireworks. Whole all that stuff. <laughs> J. Dot fireworks for real. Fireworks. <laughs> it should become a holiday. The portion day. <laughs> the portion. <laughs> <laughs> but see, my see, my thing is how the how is this, day. <laughs> how how this is going? How would this affect? Like people who really do come to vacation, that spends a week or two week and then leave. So how does that hurt them in the long, in the long run of of things? Right. Yeah, that's right. You know You're right. I mean, I think it's what needs to happen. I think we need to start as Americans going places and being a pariah the way we treat other people, and then we would realize that maybe that's that's not the way we should operate. It needs to be the when we get off the plane in other countries, people are like, oh God, just fucking Americans get over in that line. You, you know, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know J Dot is on fire. If we had to go through it, then maybe we'd understand. Maybe, you know, you you, you had some human decency. Uh, yeah. No, fuck it up for everybody. Go ahead and fuck it up and then realize what it's like when people get to look at you like that. And then maybe you want to be different. It, it's it's gonna kind of end up uh you remember that movie? Um the the end of the end of last days when uh Mexico the only way Mexico will let America let them uh let the citizens in is America had to forgive all their debt. Mm. I remember that I never saw that movie. I'm gonna have to watch yeah. it now. Yeah, it was it was good and like the president was trying to the way that the the um disaster was happen happening one of the safest places for everybody to go was Mexico because of the equator. And the president's like, he, the president's like, got a phone call. He's like, yeah, the president of Mexico is not letting nobody in. He's like, what do you mean? Everybody's about to die. He's like, he don't care. The only way, he, the only way he's going to do it is if U S forgives Mexico's debt. It was like a, it was like a trillion dollar debt. I'm with it. I'm with it. Roll the dice. They hey, we gave we gave up the uh, the merchant of death for Brittany Griner. Like Mexico, y'all got your flex your leverage. See what you can get. Right? Hey, hey, hey. He's hey, he ain't lying. Huh? He ain't I'm, getting, lying. I'm getting so much trouble after this. Yeah. He's cooking. <laughs> He's cooking. Let him cook. Today. He's cooking. He's cooking. Let him cook. Yep. Yeah. So that that brings me to the next part of this conversation is black and brown communities and we seem like we've been getting tighter than ever um we respect each other right obviously there's still some you know people that don't respect each other no matter who they are or where they're from but more recently now through the social media has gotten you know a lot bigger you see a lot of love for uh the brown people the black people they're all working together they're all you know because we are basically raised and born in the same areas so we grew up to we grew up together right usually when there's black people there's mexican people and stuff like that right so we all grew up together and uh there seemed to be like this camaraderie but how do you say that camaraderie what do you call that camaraderie there you go sorry see there's my mexican speaking sorry about that thanks jay -Dot. i couldn't pronounce it my damn self oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you jay <laughs> so there's a lot of love right there's a lot yeah. of love right there, and there's tons of videos out there, man. I was sending you guys videos of of these dudes that are singing in in Spanish and stuff, and you're like, "What the hell? Where the hell is this guy?" Like perfect Spanish. Like, was he born there? You know what I mean? It's just he he was he's part of the culture, right? Like we're part of the black culture. You guys are part of the Mexican culture. We're all we're basically the same. You know what I mean? We're basically the same. We're brothers, sisters. You know what I mean? So that leads to this. So now you go over to Mexico, right? And you go over to visit, to stay. And now you want to change the culture because you don't like the noise. Right? And we got a Retired clip here for Americans. that. Americans, Puerto Vallarta are trying to shut down a restaurant that's been in service for over 35 years 
because they say that the mariachis are too loud. If you remember, in Mazatlan they just tried the same exact thing. This is allegedly one of the women that put in a complaint. She just bought a house next door to a restaurant that always hires mariachis and she says that she expected things to be nice and quiet. And apparently the local government is trying to help her out, but locals decided to gather together and host a huge mariachi protest saying that this restaurant should not be closed down. But not everybody is like the Amargada American that I showed you in the other picture because there was many Americans that also pulled up in support to sign the petition to make sure that Gabby's Mexican restaurant did not shut down. And this is something that's been happening in 2024. If you remember in Mazatlan, they just tried this a few weeks back as hotels were telling people that they could not bring bands to perform in public areas on beaches. That's because tourists were also complaining. But Fuzan Hanitas, let me know and drop a comment. Is it All right. So what I was talking before the video leads to this. Most of the people that are complaining are white people. My question is for Will. We'll start <laughs> with you, Will. He was a black Jamie. man. He was a black man, right? Going down to Mexico. Going and taking your wife. Going down there, hanging out. And you don't like the music. And you go up there and complain and say, I want you to shut this place out. I want you to shut this place down or take the music away because it's too loud. Would you do something like that, Will? Ah, man, I wouldn't do that. I couldn't. Not me. Because I respect the culture too much. And then you got to think, <laughs> if I know that they plan this type, if, they, if, if this is what they do in this area, then this is not the area for me to live at. You know what I mean? So you, 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 you got, you got to respect the culture. You got to, and it'll be like, it'll be like you moving into my neighborhood and you're like, Hey man, I don't like all these damn gunshots going off <laughs> every other hour. I'm hearing car alarms and there's pit bulls running up and down the street. Hey Joe, look, you're going to have to fit in where you get in. I don't know what to tell you. This is the culture that I live in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, I totally get it. Yeah. Okay. Jay Dot, would you go down there and, you know, you like music, right? Hip hop, and you're like, you're like an artist, music. you know, you're a rapper. Because he's, he's black. You're mm -hmm. a black man. You go down there, you're like, you're going to have some beer, and then you're like, turn this shit off. You know, I only want to listen to P. Diddy. Not Diddy. Of all the artists you can. Not P. Diddy, but you know what I mean. Would you tell him to turn that shit off? No, I mean, I don't, because our, our our experience in this country, meaning, you know, people of color and white folks is different. I mean, this, this is what they do. And I think, like, time in this country, especially for black people, has taught us if, if we're someplace and the culture is different, we need to try to blend as in to not stand out because to stand out is dangerous for us. Um, so I think, you know, we're, we're accustomed to going places and trying to figure out how to, how to fit in, you know, how to bring whatever it is we bring and pick up whatever it is we can pick up. But if we just, if we just go on historically, right. Like they landed here, saw some people that was already here doing what they was doing. It was like, nah, your music's too loud. We don't like all that smoke. Mm. Stop dancing. You know, <laughs> And, and shut it down and turn it into what they wanted it to be. I mean, it's, this is par for the course. There's nothing new. Oh, that's a good answer, man. That's good. Can I, can, can I ask a quick question? Hmm? And this has popped in my mind and because what uh, what Jay just said. So hypothetically, what, what if the Mexicans start treating the white people how the white people would treat black people when they moved into a new neighborhood that was like better than what they was uh, um it's, it's along the lines of redlining uh gentrifying mm -hmm. really we what? we so on the same page that's because that i just we got to do this <laughs> that's i don't know if y'all have watched i don't know if y'all watched them it's like, yes. but it's so, that's what yes. i was thinking about yes i watched it yes <laughs> sit outside of their house in the morning and yes. just play a mariachi marathon play all different yes. songs at the same time please yes <laughs> what what if mexicans start doing that 
to all the white people living on the beachfront. They just they just start playing music at three o'clock in the morning for no reason. I just I just ask that they televise it and allow me to pay to view it. But yes, we should absolutely this this is the opportunity, you know, to just turn the mirror real quick and let them see what it feel like. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. Or what they can do is they can get some of their black friends. Mm-hmm. Because black people and Mexican, we love our loud speakers. Mm-hmm. Yes, we get, get some of them big, <laughs> them big concert speakers, set them up, and shake the shit out of those damn places, man. <laughs> yes. You yes. know, like they did, uh, what was it, David Koresh and him in, uh, in Waco? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. This is a moment in history, Joe. I just want us to take full advantage of it. This is great. I don't want to get all the all the laughs out of it I possibly can. Yeah, that's true. That's this, true. this might be the next uprise, Joe. Yeah, you need to call yeah. you need to call your peoples and let them know we well, waiting on y'all. We waiting on y'all. Well, well, and you know, and what people don't line, know, I crossed the line, didn't I? But some people don't know yeah, over here. You're going back to HR. Is they're like, oh, it's all right. We only have to deal with the Mexican people. Oh no, you don't. Because we have a bunch of black people over there, man. Tons of them. Tons of them. Hey, Willie, really, we, we need to start everybody. folding chairs over there now. Just let's start buying up folding <laughs> chairs in <laughs> <Chicago, laughs> Mexico. <laughs> Tell your people tool up. See, you're not dealing with just certain individuals. Now you're dealing with groups. You know, before yeah. it was a little different. You know, you can put, <clears throat> pick on all these people. And now you got people that we're all from all over the place, right? That we, we there used to be this guy, this, his name was Pancho Villa. And during the war, uh, Mexico was, you know, fighting the U.S. And, you know, back in those old days. And this dude used to capture these dudes, put them on the horse and drag their ass all up and down mm. the border. Mm. I'm sorry. Yep. So, yeah. Big brother. Yes. Going down there, man. Going on vacation. We know you like to vacation. Going down to <laughs> going to go see the pyramids in Mexico. See who built those, right? You're over there. You're gonna go have some tacos, and uh, you know they stop playing L O Cool J, and all of a sudden you got the mariachis <laughs> over there. Would you tell them, hey, turn that shit off? I want some L O Cool J. Mama say knock you out, or would you just <laughs> sit down and listen to it? No. Um... Just like um, everyone's been saying, you know, I just know how to be very respectful of the culture. You know, you know, you're going to a different country. You know what it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You know, every time, you know, the time I went to Mexico, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, beautiful culture. You just respect the culture. And this, whoever this woman is or people are who are doing this, put them out. I think it's audacity. I think it's privilege. It's my way or the highway. And as long as people always serve to that, they'll keep doing it. The woman knew she was moving next to her to this place, but yet she thought I can move in. And because of whatever reason, I can change it. Put her out. I think the country should put her out, shut her down. You know, jobs are in these places and people are working these jobs this place been here longer than this woman you know that's just nothing but straight audacity that woman should be put out and we need to stop serving into oh no i'm here now i want to change it and i want it to be this way and side note people need to stop going down there and playing with the um the mexican people because they don't play like mexican people do not play hey jay we should get some signs that go down there and, and have them say, go back, go back to where you come from. <laughs> That's what we should do. Exactly. I know. I know. Can um, I understand you. Can I understand you. Yep. That's a Chappelle skit. Yep. Yeah. He's like, uh, go back to where you came from. Oh, man. That's so that I, I think you would cause that those people to go insane if they saw that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 they, they should put up color, colored and colorless fountains. Start making them go to separate bathrooms, their own colorless bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah 
I bet yeah. you they'll leave. Like, screw this, I'm going back to America. Oh, you know, you know what they what else they can do, Jay? So like the menus, they can have authentic Mexican food, and then they can have like the American food, which would be like Taco Bell <laughs> trash. And upcharge. Yeah, yeah, and just upcharge it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what they could do. <laughs> The possibilities but I, in this, Joe. Yes, but 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 I'm glad the people pulled together and showed yes. up and said, "Oh, oh, you want us to? Oh, you wanted to go? Now we just gonna I give you more them, of this music." I want them to be more blatant with it. I think when the president of Mexico made that statement about deportation, he should have <laughs> said, "Like y'all get the fuck out." Like he said, "I want him to be blatant with it." Like, "Oh, you don't like us in your country? We'll get the fuck out of ours, and, and let me help you." Like you know, and we gonna put it on TV. Just. I can't, I'm not letting the TV then go. It <laughs> needs to be televised for everybody to see. I vote for the catapult or just like a spark. <laughs> key over the there was this, uh, there was a senator that was, that came out and can't remember the guy's name, but he was basically saying that Mexico has to do what they, what, what the U S wants them to do, that they have no choice. Right. So they interviewed the Mexican president and said, you know, instead of, going at him how the way this guy went at him he said this guy is rude he has no manners you know to talk to talk to us that way he's like we don't have to do anything that we don't want to we're mexico i mean we don't have to do what you want us to do you know what i mean so there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff go ahead well go ahead i was going to say um on the other end you know i talked about how like what's what would be the backlash for the actual tourist in the long run. But then you, now you got to start thinking about it's election year, Joe. Mm-hmm. So now what's going to be the backlash in the long run for people like you, mm-hmm. you know, so now are y'all going to, are y'all going to start being targeted? You see what I'm saying? So it, it, it it's, it's going to be, there could, there is not going to be, there could be, some backlash in the long run on both the ends. Oh yeah, absolutely. And mm-hmm. you know how it is. You know how it is. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say, you know, if that was me going down there to a different country, I mean, I would, if I know I don't like loud noises or I don't like that kind of music or whatever, you know, I just wouldn't go there. I would go to a different place, go to a different restaurant or ask the locals. Right. And even if I was there and all of a sudden there's a group that comes out and starts singing and starts doing it, I, I wouldn't say shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, because it's not my place to say anything. Shit. Even me going back to Mexico now, <laughs> I ain't going to say shit. You know what I mean? I know where I'm at. I'm not going to get up. But, hey, I'm used to being in the United States. I don't want to listen to this shit. Of course not. <laughs> hey, but they they really just need to go live in a gated community or go to, uh, uh, uh what do you call those um, those vacation type places? Mm, yeah. Uh, what is it, Big Brother? Where you go? What's those places you be going to? <laughs> what do you mean? You know how oh. like you like like a resort? They need they oh, need resort. To live- all, yeah, all inclusive. It, yeah, they need to live like in a resort. They're living within the community. Mm-hmm. If you want peace and quiet, you need to go live in a resort or a retirement home. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that that's really that's really the issue. And then if you notice, they're picking and choosing where they're going. Mm-hmm. They're not going everywhere in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Because in some places in Mexico it's not happening <laughs> it's, real. it's not it's not it's, it's not real. happening yeah it's it gets yeah so they're 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 being they're they definitely picking and choosing where they go mm-hmm. but i mean this is just like it's just more of it's more of the same because they don't they don't even feel like they're doing anything wrong and like they don't feel like i'm going down here and i'm telling you you know shut your music up you know, or I, I'm disrupting your culture. They feel like they're somehow improving the situation. I think, why Why would you listen to music this loud or this late at night? I They shouldn't be doing this, or I'm going to go and, and I'm going to tame the savages, or I'm going to bring my, you know, my God-given morality and my Christian moral, and I'm going to, we're going to make it right over here. Like, they really think, like, they're spreading 
joy and happiness and democracy, you know, to the and they they out here tame in the wilderness. So mm -hmm. it's just that that arrogance that my way is the right way, the best way, and I, I'm somehow improving you by making you more like me. Yeah, there audacity, was, just audacity. There was this one video of uh, there were these people that were complaining about the music, so they finally bitched so much that they sent the Mexican military over there because usually. When there's l large crowds, they don't send a bunch of cops. They send the military in, and they send them in to, you know, shut the music off. And the Mexican military just said, eh, screw it. So they stayed and enjoyed the show. <laughs> they didn't <laughs> shut anything down. <laughs> and the people were more pissed. I know that I know that woman was mad. <laughs> oh, man. So we got, we got one last clip. You've seen these videos of these white people from Canada moving down to Mexico and teaching each other how to do it and why they should. Listen to this. Down here is what we would pay Canada. And we moved down here, became mortgage free. We have an incredible rental that we could rent out if we don't want to live in it. We now have a vacation home that's paid off. And Cabo has the hottest rental market in all of Mexico. So you can actually make that 20 to 30% on your house every single year. No rental restrictions. Number two. We wanted our daughter to learn a second language, and we wanted to bring her to a place where we believed in the education system. And so we love the Ivy school that she goes to. And Izzy, do you speak Spanish? Si. You want to say something? Si. Hola. Canadians going down to Mexico and gentrifying the area is becoming a real problem. I've already made videos about so many Canadians moving down to Mexico that they are developing areas called the New Vancouver. Seriously, this is new age colonization. Through these videos, white people are showing each other how to go to other countries and get the most bang for their buck and not caring about how they displace the locals. Seriously, there's no new ideas from white people. They just go somewhere, displace the locals, take the land, and then when prices get too high for them, it's just start the pattern again. All right. So this is what I wanted to finish off is this, this, this clip. Because there's a lot of stuff wrong with this clip. A lot of it. You know what I mean? And uh, they think it's okay. So if you see the pattern there, it's, now it's Canadians too. It's not only just Americans. Now it's Canadians. You know, the country's all fucked up. This country's all fucked up. Like, what are we going to do? Let's colonize somebody else's country and, you know, sell our house or do whatever, get some money out of both places. And we have vacation rentals. I mean, so a lot of shit wrong with this. Big Brother... Out of out of that clip, one thing that stands out to you is just the I don't even know if this is a word, just obliviousness, just oblivious to, oh well, I don't know how me moving here is gonna affect everyone, but I know I'm going to make twenty to thirty percent and she's gonna speak and my child's gonna speak a different language and it's everything like that. And it's just it just seems as though certain people think all borders are open to them with no restrictions and no rules and no limitations but when i when they get theirs there needs to be borders there need to be laws there needs to be everything in place to protect everything i have it just seems as though it's just like free taking it's just like everything's open to me i can just move wherever i want to go and do whatever to do and whoever gets hurt or however it comes down as long as i made my 20 to 30 percent and my child is speaking more languages and it benefits my family oh well and kind of like uh i believe jada said it and me moving here should make it better for the locals you know i'm taming things and i'm making it better so i think I don't know all international laws, obviously, but I think when stuff like this happens, country need to really enforce their immigration laws, even when it you no know, when it comes down to who whomever. Yeah, you know they all they always make us focus on black and brown people coming to a country. There are people from all over the world who are not black and brown, who are just going wherever they want and just sitting down and, you know what, I'm just going to stay. You know that, uh, before I move on to, to J. Dot, you know that if you're, if you're, if you're Mexican parents, uh, you know, they're come over to this country and they have a child because they're from Mexican parents, Mexico 
still regards them as Mexican nationals. So here yeah. it's a little different, but over there it's like it's okay. Your parents are born here. You're Mexican too. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I learned that from watching a TV show where, you know, just not to get off topic, but you know, the person in America killed the um the girl who was you know born here in America, but her parents were Mexican, so obviously she was considered Mexican national and everything like that. So when they got him to Mexico, they considered him for killing, like an actual citizen of Mexico. So yeah, I, that's how I'll do that. Yep. J dot. What do you see wrong with that clip? Um, I think, you know, like the guy said, like, this isn't, this is new. This is a new behavior. Um, this is a cycle. We've seen it throughout history and over and over again. I think, I think what we're doing, we're getting stuck into like the, I had to learn this in rehab, like getting out of, shoulds and how things should go like we know that if you're if you cared about the culture that you were moving into then you would move a certain way or you wouldn't be trying to do these things or you wouldn't be trying to change things and use your money to to uh destabilize the economy and you know all that like you you wouldn't be trying to we, we know that's how a person should act but that's not how historically they have act so at some point like we know what it is you're going to do, we got to start anticipating it and capitalizing on it. You know, um, like Willie said, so many different ideas, like, you know, start taxing them crazy or, uh, you know, figure out ways to, to use this to our advantage because we know what they, this is not new behavior. They've been, you know, they've been doing it forever. They'll go down there, capitalism will take over, it'll ruin whatever it is, and it'll be too expensive to live there, and then they'll just find the next place that hasn't been touched yet and go do it again like you know it's a it's a revolving door so at what point do we start expecting it preparing for it and you know and capitalizing off you know the behavior we know that they're going to exhibit i don't know that's 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 what i take from that the most like this is this is nothing new we're not in a, in a new position this is something we've, we've seen time and time again yeah i agree i agree with that you know i, I if i was to do something like that and do it right go somewhere else you know, go back to Mexico or go to Ireland or go somewhere, right? I would have a plan to maybe create work, right? I'm going down there. I'm going to create work there too, right? Use my American money to put a business up to, you know, to contribute, to contribute to, to the state, right? To contribute to the, to the country. I mean, that's, that's what I would do. I wouldn't just go over there and be like, you know what? I'm just going to chill over here while I work remotely. I mean, I would try to do, to try to, help the community also, right? Because that's where I live. So I don't know. Will, what do you think, man? I, I see you, either the gummies kicked in or you have a lot of stuff to say. <laughs> He's asleep. <laughs> hey, uh, I like you this. I like you thinking about is Africa. That's all I keep thinking about is, is how that was a big monopoly. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, I'm not talking about the slave trade, but just the fact that how everything was, how the culture itself had changed. And that's what's going to end up happening in Mexico. The culture is going to change. Right. It's, it's, it's going to, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like how here we have, you press one for English, you press two for Spanish. So what's going to end up happening in Mexico is press one for Mexico, press two, <laughs> press two for uh, English. You know what I mean? That's what's going to end up happening. The whole culture is going to change. And until Mexico starts tightening it up, that's what that's what's going to, this is my opinion. That's what's going to happen. Uh, I'm sure that United States and Canada is not the only countries you know what i mean so and i'm sure there probably is black people that's doing it you know what i mean i'm, I'm yeah yeah so i I'm, I'm sure there's there's a little bit of everybody who's who who is capitalizing on the 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 financial part of this and not realizing how much is is 
messing up the, the the flow of the culture down there, the organic of it. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, this video, I was I was slightly confused on why she had to why she did what she did. I I didn't I I didn't understand that. I mean, other than the money part, but. Uh, yeah, it, it should it should have said I'm 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 with Jay, you know if, if they want to do a Hulu special or a Netflix special, <laughs> I'm there. I don't have stars no more, but I will pay the fifteen. Yeah, I would be on stars. For, for stars, <laughs> you know. I'm just saying, but yeah, that that's where I'm at, man. That's funny. Right, I want to see every raid every, when they run in the restaurants, and I want to see all of it. Yep, but like. Cops, court TV, all of it, just straight all deportation. Time. Jay, you want them to shake them as they pull them along? Yep. yep. I, I want the shaky cam footage. I want everything. I want to. Man, let's let's we a whole network of just like CNN for deportations from Mexico, just twenty four seven. Somebody getting kicked the fuck out. That's what I want to see, man. Yep. Mm. Jay, to, um, <laughs> oh. to uh to close it out and give it back to Will. I got a little stat here. It's a little little older. It's from 2023, but we kind of get the gist of it. Uh, from 2019 to 2022, the number of Americans who applied for our or renewed residency visas surged about 70%. So that's a lot. That, that's a lot. And, and, you know, Americans meaning all kinds of everybody. I mean, we don't know what it doesn't say. It was just white people. It was just brown people. It just it just says Americans in general, seventy percent of them. So that's a lot of people. So it's going to affect the locals, right? Eventually, the locals are not going to be able to live there because everything's going to be more expensive. And it also shows you how fucked up our government and how this country is being ran too, right? Because a lot of this stuff is pe some people maybe maybe some people just really can't afford it, and they're trying to figure out how they can live. Right. So they are going to Mexico and good for them. Right. Because, hey, I can't live in this country. I'm not taking advantage of them and I don't care about the music. I just need <laughs> to live with my family. You know what I mean? So they move over there for a good cause, kind of like other people move to this country. Not everybody just moves here, like Jada said, to do bad shit. They move here for a good cause also. Right. So I'm OK with that. I'm OK if you want to better your life and uh, you just can't do it here. Right. You have to find other way, an, another way to live. Right. And, you know, I'm OK with that as long as you pay your taxes and all that kind of like how we, we have to do it here. Same shit. So yeah. I don't know. So I got to say about that. Quick question. And that's 70 percent. Is there a chance there's a percentage of Mexicans that are migrating back to Mexico because they're making better money? Oh, Absolutely. Uh, you know, and a lot of a lot of Mexican people, um, when you open up your ears a little bit and you you listen, there's some people that you know they work here and they live over there because there's they just can't do it, man. You know, where I grew up, when we moved to this country, it was in El Paso, Texas. Over there, it's common for people from Mexico to go have jobs, get visas to work, and they'll work in Texas, but they'll. It's like a regular day, man. They wake up, they they come over to the to to Texas. They work, and the shift they go back to Mexico mm. because they can't they can't live in in the United States. The only place they can live is where they're from, right? And if, if where you're from, you don't make a whole lot of money working in the factories for Ford, you know, and all these American companies. So. You have no choice but to try to find work somewhere else to try to pay the bills where you're from. I got a geography question. Was Tex wasn't Texas and Me and New Mexico originally a part of Mexico? Yeah, I think uh, all the way up to California. I think Arizona and all that stuff was all part of it. And then Mexico, part of Texas was sold off uh the president of Mexico sold that land. It was through some crazy either was wars and all that stuff. And I think they sold it for like next to nothing. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, they took over. But, yeah. Texas was its own sovereign nation before it became a member of the union. 
Yeah, I'm repping it like it's my state. But yeah, we, you know, the only state in the union that can fly their flag at the same height as the American flag because they were a sovereign nation before they became a state. What does that mean, sovereign nation? Like Texas was its own country. Okay. I was just making it clear for those who don't know what that may be. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe, terrific job, brother. Thank you, guys. About time you represent for your people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but good job, everyone. Terrific. It was a good episode. Very educational. Um, can't wait to hear feedback on this one. Uh, but <laughs> let's go wrap it up. Big brother, let the people know where they can find you. I am the resident Big Brother, host of Big Brother Advice Podcast, available on all streaming platforms. New episodes premiere on Thursday. Joe. I'm Joe, the host of Bold Talk by Joe Podcast. It's available in all major platforms. And also, please follow us on uh, the League of Kings podcast on YouTube. Uh, we are starting to upload some videos. We had to do a, some adjustments to our videos so they're not coming out at the same time uh, due to we have to adjust a lot of there's a lot of editing to be done but uh, we're going to start putting up these episodes up there so uh, you're able to enjoy them. Thank you. Jay Dot. I'd like to use my time before we leave here to just make an appeal to the Mexican government. It's been a lot of ideas shared on the show tonight. Um, I think I think many of many of them are very viable, real ideas. I would just like just let me let me host the show. Let me host one of these deportation shows. I do it for free. All I ask is you let me kick one person over the wall a week. Just one person over the wall a week. I host the show for free. Whatever you need me to do, I just I'm I'm serious. I'm serious. That's all I got with. Okay. And I am Willie Have for the Think About Us podcast that I co-host with my wife, Fiona, where we talk all relationship. Hey, y'all, I got this new camera right. I look good as fuck. Hey, I can't. Hey, I'm catching like different like angles and shit. I'm like, damn, that motherfucker. Oh, we know what you want to do with that camera next, big brother. Oh, uh, person coming to H Will, you, you know went to HR saying? last episode. You're going to HR again this episode. You're running you out of it? verbal warnings. Yeah, well, sometimes you gotta write motherfucker. Out, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get on out of here, y'all.